In our previous video, we reviewed the RAM and the stuffing box. In between the compressor and the RAM are the upper and lower valves. These valves are simple, but they do play an important role in managing the air volume from the compressor to the RAM. First, I'm going to start by marking the flange plates to the upper and lower valve. Next, I'm going to disconnect the treadle linkage. The treadle linkage is disconnected by removing a cotter pin and a pivot pin. Now that I've removed the treadle linkage, it's time we remove all these flange nuts. I'm using a 10 millimeter socket. Now that we've removed all the flange nuts and the treadle linkage, the valves simply slide right out. Now that the valves are out of the hammer, we can get a better view of their design. Notice how the linkage has a machine slot for adjustment. This is used by the factory to time the valves. There should be no reason to adjust or change this from the factory position. As you can see, these valves are very simple. Notice there is no rubber plumbing in the air delivery system, so there are no hoses to replace or leaks to fix. This is the lower valve. When the hammer is in idling position, the lower valve has a supplement valve that delivers extra air that keeps the ram retracted into the cylinder. Let's take a closer look at this supplement valve. I'm going to show you how to remove the supplement valve. First, cut a piece of 3 8 round bar by 2 inches long. Then I will use a punch that will pass through the machine slot. I put the end of the valve on a socket that will support the valve and let the supplement valve pass through. In the next clip I'll demonstrate this. Next I'm going to take the lower valve and place it over the socket for support. I'm going to use this round bar and my punch that passes straight through. And the supplement valve just passes right through. As you can see, this uh, operates just like an air check valve. Now let's put this back in. Next, you're ready to reassemble the hammer. We're going to start with the lower valve. Here again, we have uh, markings that help us. I'm just going to hand tighten all the nuts around the flange. Next we're going to do this upper valve. Slides right into place. We're going to use our markings we made previously in the video to get the orientation right. And uh, we're just going to hand tighten all the bolts Now that I've attached the throttle linkage, it is time to do the final tightening on the valves. The key thing here is to tighten each bolt a little bit at a time so that you do not bind the valves. Now that we've done the final tightening on the flange bolts, and we can see that both valves are returning smoothly, there's no binding, it's time to turn on the hammer. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of how our valve system works. In our next video, we're going to be getting into the compressor side of the hammer. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.